Big audience and uh, and the in the issue the matter uh, deserve all of our time attention for today and for the uh, coming uh, future. Yes, uh, well, thank you very much for being here, to the members of the EIF, to my colleagues uh, present. Uh, it's the beginning of the season, so that kind of uh, excitement in any meeting you go, spe special thing, probably because we are keeping the energy that we bring still for uh, the holidays days, at least uh, some of uh, us. And uh, let's go to start with this debate on cyber security. As you uh, are well aware, the European Union has uh, recently, as many other areas in the world, um, witnessed uh, major cyber security incidents uh, impacting government systems, critical infrastructure, as well as uh, business uh, sector. Uh, and other public and private organizations of all sizes across uh, several countries. This is not exclusively for the European Union, of course, but we also uh, know how these things are happening in, in, in our territory. Uh, the ongoing review of European legislation regulating the digital sector and the imminent uh, revision of EU's, uh, EU's uh, cybersecurity strategy expected in September create a most timely uh, opportunity, I must say, to assess Europe's existing uh, cybersecurity frameworks and to identify the necessary improvements uh, and upgrades uh, that the revised strategy should uh, pursue. Uh, in the meantime, uh, further sectoral work uh, is also ongoing, such as uh, on an EU-wide security uh, policy for the acronym so-called CITs, uh, the uh, uh, corporative connected uh, and automated mobility, ICT, CTS. Uh, um, and in this context, the particular attention should be paid to the fast evolving uh, cyber th uh, threat uh, landscape that accompanies uh, the digital, that accompanies, sorry, the digital transformation. There is not any single uh, and remote part of uh, our society, economy, uh, or territory which is not affected by digital transformation. We, this is not a ghetto anymore. It's a long time that was not a ghetto, but now it's not only that no, it was not a ghetto, it was something that affected some sector. Now it's something that is just uh, embedded in all kind of activities, being personal or being social or being economical. So we have not to forget that in that sense. Uh, Internet of Things, smart infrastructure, connected cars, digital health, e-government, and so on and so forth, without to forget um, artificial intelligence. To now, you remember what has been the, the, the star of the debates uh, last uh, month uh, before, um, before holidays, uh, it was uh, Internet of Things. Everything was related to Internet of Things. It still is there. I mean, it's not that Internet of Things has disappeared, but artificial intelligence is growing and growing and growing in um, concern, in investment, in um, creating a number of new is issues, and of course, also linked to cybersecurity. So, in my view, you are going to see how. Uh, the uh, concept of uh, uh, artificial intelligence is going to be present more and more and more and more in any single debate would have regarding many different issues of digital transformation. But this is, uh, we will have the specific debates on that. So, I uh, just yes, let me um, introduce uh, the two speakers because there are one that is uh, not uh, anymore, uh, is Vivian Lunella, member of cabinet, uh, of um, uh, Vice President ANSIP. Unfortunately, uh, she cannot be with us today, but we have uh, two excellent speakers, which is Dr. Hugh Thompson, uh, PhD Global Chief Technological Officer and Senior Vice President 
for uh, of world leading cybersecurity provider uh, Semantec, as you know well, the company. And then we have uh, Axel Petri, Senior Vice President, Group Security Governance uh, from Deutsche Telekom. Uh, and uh, we have also the fortune to have here, if I am right, um, that was someone told me, uh, the Estonian permanent uh, representative, uh, uh, the Estonian permanent representation person uh, in charge of cyber security. I wonder if it is not, has not arrived. Well, but will be. So since we are uh, in the Estonian presidency uh, period, then he can be uh, also a good, um, uh, well, interesting what uh, he has to, to say in the, in the debate. Now, uh, unfortunately, I must leave because I was called for an urgent meeting of the Spanish delegation outside this building, but my colleague, uh, uh, Michael Boni, also involved in, in this uh, uh, matters uh, will uh, stay with you. He is going to address you for a very short, short time before uh, the two speakers intervene. Since uh, we have not uh, Vivian Lunella here, that's fine in terms of timing. So, uh, Michal, uh, the, the, the floor is yours.